Well, um, hello, I'm here uh, working on the Sentra. Unfortunately, um, I hit a car the other day and I damaged the front side of the car and I need to, I need to fix it. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, let me show you the damage. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's not much, but it was rated at uh, more than a thousand dollars. Well, I hit another, a truck actually on this part and I crack this i cracked the uh bumper i cracked the um grill pretty much you know it's uh it's not too bad i may be able to use this but as you can see it's cracking at several places which sucks um then i cracked the bumper um i pretty much you know i need to replace the front bumper completely um i damaged some of the uh support here the condenser is gone i need to replace two uh the fan all the supports for the fan are gone um so uh i'm in the process of removing the front bumper to see the extent of the damage um i think this was also pushed inside because this leads just to be uh, very flat and now it's a little difficult to move in and out so i need to push this out a little bit the batteries are fine now none of the batteries seems to have been damaged uh, so none none of the uh, comp com components <laughs> the battery the, the, the front bumper just came out I was removing the uh, the bolts for it um, it looks like the, uh, the air conditioned compressor is not damaged the, the heat was mostly on the other side but I can see that this is this is bended uh, all the uh, all the uh, sh uh, sh uh, shock absorber is damaged. The little radiator is damaged as well. Um, there's some uh, considerable damage. I'm gonna have to replace this. Now I'm gonna be working on removing this and see what's the extent of the damage behind the the condenser. Um, I'll tape a little more once I remove the uh, the uh, those those supports. Hey, well, uh, here's the damage. Most of the damage was on the left side, as you can see. The uh, the um, bumper, the shock absorber, I think is it's called. Uh, there's no damage on this side, but on the other side, on the left side, or looking at the car from the front, is on the left side, is where it got most of the damage. The the rest of the car is is not really damaged. Uh, a couple of these fans broke. I mean, this this still runs, but it, as you can see, it it, it broke. But it still still works though, but this has to be replaced. The small radiator is intact. I think I can uh, reuse that. Um, the uh, damage is mostly here. I think I can bend it. I really bend it uh, a lot to make it the way it was so this is where the damage most of the damage was actually the support that is the support that is going into that place which is what did I do with the support um, here so this part goes on the top this is not too bad maybe I can reuse this a little bended but this is not thick uh, metal so this is very easy to um, to bend back to its form and this is pretty much gone this radiator is, is gone it doesn't even it doesn't even spin it's really hard to make it spin uh, that's pretty much gone I need to buy another uh, the condenser is also gone that's how it looks like it's uh, it's pretty much gone and it has a crack in there you can see the crack somewhere in there so, uh, uh, where's the crack? Here. So that's where the uh, leak came out of the gas. And uh, finally, the support, which is this. Uh, this is the bad part, but unfortunately it is just bolted. It's not uh, really welded or anything. So this is the bad part, that's the one that needs to be replaced and it should look like this, so uh, you know, big difference.
it should look like this so um just need to replace that one so it's not that bad actually i thought it was worse uh, as you, know, you can see the uh batteries are intact nothing really dam got damaged into the batteries as i say this just need to come out a little bit uh there are a few parts that are cracked but this is uh this plastic that's replaced this um, also there's a little damage on this AC hose which I'm gonna try to see if I uh, can fix it I hope I don't have to replace this it doesn't look like it broke it's suspended so maybe I can reuse this one uh, I have to check with an AC technician um, okay so it's now time to start ordering parts and I need to go and get the, uh, the new parts and start installing everything back um, more when I get the parts and I start assembling back things well I got most of the parts I need I still need to get the uh, front bumper and I still need to get the um, uh, the grill uh, other than that I got the parts and I'm ready to start working let me show you I ordered the uh, two little fans for the uh, um, radiator the cooling radiator for the uh, uh, controller and I got the supports um, I got this uh, over the wheel cover which was slightly damaged not too bad but I'm um, gonna replace it um, I got the support that goes on top of the uh, uh, bumper and it holds the plastic bumper cover in place I got the uh, uh, bumper the metal bumper inside so this is uh, ready to go I got the uh, supports, which is uh, the over the top support, which is this, is in perfectly good shape. Uh, I got the uh, bumper support, which is this. Big um, difference from the other one. Let me see if I can get the other one. What did I do with it? I got also the uh, the horn. It's starting to fail, so I used the strip to get a get a horn here's the support so um this is how it's originally this is how this ended up so uh, a bit different this is the part that i've sorted most of the damage most of the hit and then i just need to finish bending this a little bit so that the new support fits in here properly i'm going to be working on that uh, probably today or tomorrow it should not be too difficult now uh, it turns out I had to you know they in, in the junk jars they take uh, the old parts even though they're twisted or whatever and they recycle them so you get a little bit of credit when you buy parts and you turn on turn um, the old parts in um, I bought also the uh, condenser I have a new condenser now they took the old condenser they took the old bumper and a few of these parts. Um, I forgot to take this, so uh, I have 30 days to take this and get uh, probably a couple bucks credit on this. So um, I'm done good. As you can see, there's no more damage into the uh, car. The damage was so outside, and since I had the uh, condenser outside, that's what got damaged. Uh, nothing of the internal components got damaged. As you can see that the, the damage didn't make it to the to the inside of the car of the batteries uh, that's one of the uh, problems of installing things too close to the side or installing things outside of the engine compartment they have the risk of being hit uh, when in an accident or being damaged uh, since it's just the condenser and the condenser is like 35 40 dollars used or like 60 dollars new i don't mind too much uh, i would be more concerned for example for about the uh, electric compressor which is also outside of the engine compartment getting damaged um, the uh, radiator too is outside it's here so uh, that's the risk of uh, installing things outside of the engine compartment uh, but those are all uh, cheap things and these cars are very popular the, the Sentra is a very popular car and it's very, it was very easy to get the parts the only thing I really need now is the bumper cover and the uh, the grill and I'm even thinking about reusing the grill. The grill, I don't have it here. I, the grill is not even really bad. It's 
just have a couple of cracks and they don't even show. Um, I'd like another grill um, model though, so maybe I think I'm probably going to buy the grill. Um, well, that's it. I'm going to start really painting, sanding, cleaning all the parts. These are, these need a little cleaning and painting. There are a few rust spots that I need to sand and then paint this. Um, I still need to work a little bit on this so the new support fits in here and then it's locked with screws on both sides. So that's uh, my next task, cleaning and installing things.